What is an AI coworker? Technically, it is an autonomous AI agent that collaborates with you within a workflow. But what does that actually mean? So uh, um, let's look at a concrete example. A journalist coworker that we built for a Swedish TV documentary about AI. This coworker works alongside Alex, a Swedish journalist and news anchor. We started by mapping out his uh, process for making news videos, covering every step from research to production. We then went off and built an AI coworker for him that researches news, selects the most relevant news for today, generates suitable images, and even creates the actual news video. So uh, yeah, let's have a look behind the scenes and see what this actually looks like. In the documentary, Alex and his coworker collaborate on a Trello board, a digital visualization of the complete workflow from research to production. The key thing with AI coworkers is that they work with you in your tools and, and you choose how much of the work you delegate. So every night when Alex is asleep, his trusty coworker does research and adds relevant news items as cards to the board. Each card on the board contains a high level summary of the news item and of course links to sources. And sometimes several related news items will be combined into one news report. So how does the coworker know what to search for? The research topic and news selection criteria are defined by Alex on a separate instructions board. In this case, the topic was generative AI and we are looking for concrete news with a clear angle. Next, we pick which card to turn into an actual news video. So let's pick, say, this one about NVIDIA. We move the card, and now the coworker gets to work and starts writing a manuscript. Again, we can guide this work through the instructions board where we describe what we're looking for in a good manuscript. This is similar to how we might work with a human assistant journalist. So although the AI coworker is doing most of the work, Alex is still in control. He can change and tune the instructions whenever needed. Okay, there we go. Manuscript is done and the card has been moved to the draft manuscript column. We can now look at the manuscript and if we like it, we can move it to the next column. But if we want to change something, we can edit the text ourselves directly or give feedback to the coworker. For example, maybe we want it to be shorter and more targeted to a younger audience. So we type that in. Um, we basically chat directly on the card and then the coworker updates uh, the manuscript accordingly. So let's say after a few rounds, we're happy with the manuscript now. So time for some images. We move the card, the coworker gets to work, and after a minute or so, there we go. The coworker has now created image prompts for each part of the manuscript. And it has also generated the actual images. Again, we could give feedback here on the images and request changes. But in this case, let's just say we're happy and uh, move it on to video production. So we drag the card and a few minutes later, ta-da, we have a video. So let's have a look. Just nu ser vi en situation som påminner om Teslas börsrusning 2020. Nvidia, kända för sina kraftfulla grafikprocessorer, har aktiekurser som skjuter i höjden på grund av AIs växande roll i samhället. Men bakom investeringsfebern finns frågor och farhågor. Nvidias aktiekurs har mer än tredubblats det senaste året. Företagets framgångar speglar den AI-hysteri som svept över världen. In the documentary, Alex wanted his coworker to look like himself and use his voice. But it could just as well have been some, some other character. The coworker also has an app where you can chat to it more freely outside of the Trello board using voice or text. So let's say, uh, hey, good morning. So I'm making a demo video about you. And it gets transcribed. And there's a response. So let's say, do we have any cool new news stories for today's video? And we send that. And now he's talking to the Trello board and looking stuff up and uh, suggesting what we should make uh, news about today. So we're collaborating via the chat. So as you can see, this is all about collaboration between human and AI. Technically, the AI coworker could do the whole workflow automatically every step without any human feedback. But we find that the results are much better with human oversight and involvement. And that's why all automation steps are optional. For example, we could have decided that the coworker is done after the manuscript step and then record the video the traditional way with a, with a human news anchor. Okay, so now you've seen an example of one type of AI coworker with one type of workflow. Other types could include customer support agents that chat with users and respond to emails or uh, research analysts that create business intelligence reports and send 
a newsletter, a slide deck, a Slack message, or whatever whatever format is preferred. So uh, uh, yeah, I hope you found this little demo interesting. And uh, let us know what kind of coworker would be useful to you.